What's up, cats and chicks? It's your boy, Rebel Racer. Back with another video. So. Today's video is going to be a movie review. I want to finish this, then we're going to go ahead inside. And we're going to do a video review on a movie that does feature racers, but isn't exactly fully about the racer culture. However, it is a good movie. And I'm sure most of you would have seen it. So let's get this going. Now, guys, I'm not a great big movie person. And that's the truth. However, there are some movies I like, and there are some I do not. However, there are certain films over the years I have seen that have impressed me. Um, and this is one of them that has impressed me all the many times I have seen it. Stand by me. Stand by me is um, a movie I'm sure most of you have heard of. Um, this is the 25th anniversary edition. Um, a lot of great actors in it. Uh, Will Wheaton's in it. Uh, River Phoenix is in it. Corey Feldman is also in it. Jerry O'Connell and Kiefer Sutherland are all in this movie. Um, in the small, woodsy Oregon town, a group of friends, sensitive Gordy, tough guy Chris, flamboyant Teddy, and scary cat Vern are in search of a missing teenager's body. Wanting to be heroes in each other's and their hometown's eyes, they set out on an unforgettable two-day trek that turns into an odyssey of self-discovery. When they encounter the town's Knife-wielding hoods, the boys discover strength they never knew they had. Based on the novella, The Body by Stephen King, Stand By Me is a rare special film about friendship and the incredible experience and the indelible experience of growing up. This movie um, is uh, great. It was made in uh, 86. Um... Kiefer Sutherland and his uh, friends, if you can see uh, right there, uh, it's got a switchblade there. They, they were greasers in the movie, and uh, this kid right here, uh, River Phoenix, plays Chris. He kind of had the greaser style and look. Um, no, you see here but if you look right here you'll see the cuffed jeans the boots t-shirt oh, doesn't exactly have the hairstyle but um there are greasers in it they uh, portray the greasers as um bad uh bad guys but the film itself stand by me was an awesome movie um if you have not seen it i suggest you do um there are some great lines in the movie. I will not say them because I don't want to ruin the experience. But um, if you're looking for a good uh, family-oriented sort of movie that your whole family can enjoy, I would suggest Stand By Me. Stand By Me is just all around great. Um... I have seen it many times. Uh, my mom got me the Blu-ray DVD of it, you know, 25th anniversary edition. Uh, last Christmas it was. Came in a few days after Christmas, but you want a good movie? Stand by me is 
a terrific film. If you have not seen it, suggest you do. Um, there are other great films out there too. That is a classic, though. It's been around for a while. Um, however, if you are looking for a better racer film, I believe I talked about this in other videos too. If you're looking for some classic racer film, I would also suggest The Wanderers. This is uh, this right here is a classic racer film. I covered this in an earlier video on my other channel. Um, but this right here, um, I have both seen the movie and read the book. If I were you, I would get the uh, brand new case store restoration. It comes with two DVDs. Uh, the first one is the um, 118 minute original theatrical version. Whereas you have with this the very rarely seen 124 minute preview cut where there's a bit more in the preview cut certain lines and certain things that were cut out from the original theatrical version so I would suggest when you get it you get you know try to get this version of it so you get both I prefer the uh, 124 minute preview cut myself but you know it's a film right here ah, great film great film uh so it, it, it's about racers, you know, Italian racers. Um, meet the Wanderers, the coolest guys in town. Totally high school seniors, Richie, Joey, and Perry run with a gang called the Wanderers in the Bronx. The year is 1963, but their experiences are universal. Falling in love, surviving in school, and defending their turf against rivals like the Ford and Baldies, the Dell Bombers, and the Ducky Boys. There's a bit more of it on the back here, but I'm not going to go through all that. It's also a book. Um, uh, this, um, it's a good movie. The book is good too, but there's a lot more in the book than there is in the movie. And there's a lot of differences. So, um, I would watch this first and then read the book, or vice versa, which, whichever one you, you prefer. Those are um, two good movies that I suggest that you guys check out. Um, that being said, that's today's video. I just wanted to uh, put those out there, let you guys know about those uh, books and uh, movies, I should say. You can also read Stephen King's The Body. That's kind of what, you know, gave basis to Stand By Me. Anyways, guys, that's today's video. I'm sorry that there really wasn't a big topic, and I'm sorry that this video isn't very long. But, um, yeah. The Wanderers and Stand By Me. Guarantee you won't have a problem. Well, actually, what? We'll do one more. Now, this movie doesn't have anything to do with racers or anything like that. But I will say it is a damn good movie. What's Eating Gilbert Grape? Experience this cinematic gem as never before via the Special Collector's Edition DVD. Featuring a wonderful performance by Johnny Depp and show-stopping turn that made Shutter Island Leonardo DiCaprio, Shutter's Island Leonardo DiCaprio star. What's eating girl grape is pure magic. Um, living in Andorra is like dancing to no music. Gilbert Grape should know. Aside from a secret affair with a housewife. Gilbert spends his days stocking shelves at the grocery store, caring for his mentally handicapped brother, which is played by Leonardo DiCaprio. He's just a kid in this movie. 
in holding together a large family headed by Mama, a former beauty queen whose weight tops 500 pounds. But just when Gilbert thinks nothing will ever change, a pretty stranger arrives on the scene, capturing Gilbert's heart and helping him make a break. As you can see, Leonardo DiCaprio there at the bottom is really young, and Johnny Depp at the top here is very young. Um, this film, uh, What's Eating Gilbert Grape, a weird name for a movie, but this movie, I can't even begin to tell you guys. It is a wonderful movie. Um, it was made in well, this uh, 2006. Uh, it was made before then, I believe. Yeah, 93. Uh, this DVD was 2006 uh, restoration copy here, or not restoration copy. Um. Collector's Edition DVD here, but uh, made in 93. This movie is all the way around just great. I suggest if you haven't seen it, you do get it, you do watch it. And then, I don't know, hit me up on my Instagram. Tell me what you guys thought. So, there you guys go. Three movies. Let's eat and give her a great. Stand by me. The Wanderers. Check out those three movies. Hit me up on my Instagram or leave me a comment below. If you have already seen all of them, good. If not, do see them. Until then, stay greasy cats. Stay sexy chase. Be cool. And always stay rockabilly.